Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Obscure Toy Files. I'm your host, Christopher Boglin Negri, and we're here again with another Obscure Toy Review. We here at the Obscure Toy Files, if you're new to this site or YouTube channel, we like to shed light on toys that are obscure, unique, or unlicensed. Sometimes all those things combine together to make an obscure, unlicensed, unique toy. A lot of times they're you kind of just mixed here and there. Like you may get a unique Terminator toy or an obscure Transformer or something like that. But for the most part, we kind of stick with things that go outside the regular realm of uh, toy reviews. So that people, not many people know about these lines. So we like to let people know what they are and that they existed and that they're fun. So today we're going to continue Battle Troll Months. <laughs> Insanity of battle trolls. Big hair dudes with bad attitudes. The original battle trolls, only a dollar. Although I paid 13 for it, like the other one. But hey, never, that's, that's not too bad. It's been 20 years. Like I guess that, you know, five bucks a decade, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so today we're going to take a review, look at Series 3 Battle Trolls, Quick Draw Troll. And as you, if you watch my other battle troll review, that would be Jack Castrol, which you should check the links underneath. Um, this is, again, he's part of Series 3, which was a harder-to-find assortment, and I ended up getting them on clearance at KB. Uh, this one we managed to get online, and uh, we're going to bust him open and take a look at him today. Again, I'll show you the back of his box, which is the same as the packaging for Jack Kostrol, so I won't go too in-depth. If you want to check out the back of it in all these little bubbles and things, you can go do that. But I, what I will do is I didn't do in the back of the other packaging for Jack Kostrol. I'll read, read off all these cross-sell people. In this Series 3 you, uh, assortment, you had uh, Jack Kostrol, KO Troll, who was like a boxer, Wolfman Troll, which if I have to explain it to you, you it's a Wolfman, it's a Troll, it's kind of in the name. And was, they also had the Trolltimate Wrestler, which I guess is supposed to be like the Ultimate Wrestler, or the Ultimate Warrior from WWF. Look, that doesn't look anything like him. Again, like I mentioned in the last video, Google him. The real toy looks so much better than this. Uh, the Thrasher Troll, who's basically like a 90s skater kid. Slapshot Troll, who's a hockey player. If you couldn't tell by his pads and slapshot and lack of teeth. There's Ace Troll, who's a pilot. He doesn't look too much different than the, the finished toy. I think his gloves are a different color. But he like they're purple, but in the original, the actual toy, I think it, his hair is white. And we have Quick Draw Troll, who we're reviewing today, but what's that? Quick Draw Troll's hair here is white, or yellow, and it's white here. What the... What the hell's going on? Oh, wait. Hasbro Covens are... Uh, product and colors may vary. You've won this round, Hasbro. You think you're all so clever with your disclaimers on the bottom that I failed to notice in the last review. All right, fine. Okay. You've got me this time. But yeah, yeah, yeah product and colors may vary. That is an understatement because almost none of these match the original finished products. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. So... Oh, to, look, to, to touch briefly on the artwork, which I didn't mention last time, this is the basically all these characters here from Series 1. You have, like, uh, Captain Troll, I think. He's like a pirate troll. The Trollminator. Um, I forget his name. He's like a, like, a, like a dwarven troll, which is weird. They made a repaint of him called Sven Troll, so this one, I think, was... I forget his name. Wow, that's bad. I'm getting old. This is, like, Nunchuck Troll. He's like a ninja. This is... Uh, wow. Sergeant Troll. I remember nothing! Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it's Sergeant Troll. And, uh, yeah. I don't have... I never had any of these growing up. I bought these two on clearance. Which I mentioned in my last review. But the other one I never had an opportunity to get. Or chose not to for whatever reason. They really don't look as cool as the sculpts. I mean, this is really nice artwork. I mean, if this looked like that, I'd probably buy more of them. Not to say this is bad, you know, but... That looks cool. Okay. So we got here Twig Draw Troll. His gun shoots... Uh, he comes with like a, little, like a little pistol or a six-shooter revolver, and then like a double-barreled shotgun that shoots... <laughs> Are those little snakes? <laughs> I think he shoots little snakes. We have to open this up. That's pretty funny. I didn't even notice that. Kudos to Series 3 Battle Troll designers for making extra detail. Let's look at Quick Troll's uh, bio card. It says, A charter member of the Dirty Dozen Battle Troll Gang, Quick Draw Troll is living testament to the old cowboy saying, You don't have to be tall to be tough. Subsisting on a diet of red ants and rattlesnake juice, Quick Draw has been known to terrorize entire frontier settlements for the aroma from his cowboy boots. Delicious. Okay, so now we've had our look at the packaging, because there's not much else to look at. Uh, oh, these are also ages five and up. And it says, contain small parts, which represent a choking hazard to children under three. So I can understand that, but I, I definitely could see you could take 
away the weapons and give this to like a three year old. He wouldn't kill himself because it's the, there's nothing else that he could break. There's nothing there. It's just troll. All right, so use our handy dandy pocket knife, and we will gingerly cut away at the uh, card back. Because again, I like to keep the card backs intact. Um, when I was a kid, I used to cut all the uh, file cards off. I mean, I would I'd keep one troll from, I keep the card back of one troll from each assortment. Like, I have a card back for Series 3, I have one for Series 2, and I have one for Series 1. But I would cut off all their uh, little text backs. And I, I used to store them in the box. I had the uh, Trollosaurus with, Fens, with Sven Troll. And he'll be getting reviewed soon. And uh, basically, since that box was pretty big, I used to store all my battle trolls in there. And I also had the, uh, it was like a, some sort of net launcher that came with Bullseye Troll, who was a repaint of Troll Clops. And I would take those other trolls I had and I'd put them in that box too. So I never used to keep these guys like stored in a bag or a toy box or something. I used to just keep them all tucked away inside a box. Look at the suit. I look down a little smidgen. So you guys can see the epic reveal. And see, like I said, the hair is like stuck. <laughs> Again, you have this little plastic insert. So if you ever get one of these battle trolls and someone says, oh, it's mint on card, and this part isn't here, then they may be mistaken. A little pistol that's just taped in. It was taped from a thousand years ago. So I'm just going to take that and put it over here. Not that anymore. This can be chucked. All right, so we got Quick Draw Troll with his large head of white hair. But he's extra squishy. All right, so again, it's 10 and 2 points of circulation. Let's get all his weapons out first. Yeah, let's see, uh, it's the same thing as it did before. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of a brand new battle troll. Your battle troll comes equipped with abnormal strength, sophisticated modern weaponry, and a really bad temper. He's trained to attack anything that crosses his path. To get the most out of your battle troll, it's okay there, draw. Uh, he, simply turn him loose, stand back, and let the battle begin. To army battle troll, load rattler into gun. To tap, fire, through fire, tap rattler with finger. Okay, so this can now... Isn't that a cool card back? That's kind of neat. It's much interesting when you see the whole thing as its own. Let's flip that back. You see the whole thing intact. It's kind of like, ooh, it's neat. Now these get stored in like a card file for me. I get to keep them for later. All right, so we we'll see Quick Draw Troll. We'll go over his cool weaponry. He comes with his little troll revolver, which I believe didn't come with any other toy but him. And he even has one of his fingers sculpted in a way that he can hold it. So I guess he goes that, this one goes in that hand. Or wood. I guess if, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> Hasbro, what did you do? I'm gonna shoot you with my gun. Just get on the floor so I can aim at you easily. Because, I'll quick draw you. Again, what I said before in the last review, arm articulation would have been great. This this is cool, but it doesn't really help me shoot anybody. I mean, like, he's quick draw troll. He's ready to do quick drawing, and I can't quick draw him. It's in his name. His entire shtick is being able to shoot people, and I can't. Because they chose to not give him proper articulation. All right, so it's his little gun. And this is his, I guess, Rattler the Witcher? I don't know what this thing is, but... Oh, that is funny. <laughs> Again, another, another example of Series 3 having really nicely sculpted accessories. We have two <laughs> rattlesnakes. Maybe the camera can zoom in and see them a little better. Probably, maybe not. Let's see, is that pretty as good as it goes? This is, maybe if get off the back. Get out of the camera. You're taking all the taking all the zoom ins. Yeah, you guys can probably see it. Yeah, it's two rattlesnakes tied together with rope, <laughs> or rope, quote unquote. Yeah, and then there's the little tails here. So it's, this is a rattler launcher. This doesn't even shoot bullets. It shoots rattlesnakes, which I think is even more dangerous than bullets. I mean, if you get shot with a bullet, you're okay. But you shoot with rattlesnakes. Double barrel rattlesnake launcher. Now this is cool. You just you pull them all the way in there like that, and then you just give them an old flick, and there they go. That worked a lot better than a, a Jack Stroll's harpoon launcher. But yeah, that's actually really neat. I didn't even really, I didn't even realize that. I just thought they were bullets. I mean, because when you're looking at the package, you're like, it, it's on a TV screen, and it's all kind of you know faded and obscured. But that's really neat. I, I like that a lot. But then his other hand, and now he's loaded to the gills, but can't shoot anybody. I'm gonna shoot you. See, what also kind of stinks with him is that even with, with Jack Castrol, he kind of turned and angled up a little bit, but with him, his arms are at such a negative angle, he can't even really aim upwards. And you really, you have to like kind of 
pull his arms like this. And I guess maybe you can use the hot water method where you get it really hot and then get it really cold and hopefully it'll fuse. But since it's vinyl, it's hollow. And I don't know if that would work. So you may have to just kind of like, you really can't, you have to use like, is that the old expression on some toys? Some poses require hand support, so it'd be like, a quick draw draw. Don't mess with me, buddy. I'll blow you away. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, but so you kind of have to use a little, you have to fiddle with it. But this guy, he's got really gummy legs. I mean, like, look at his legs. Right, look at his sculpt a little bit. And just, and to, to distract from the fact that his articulation is horrible. Um, he's got a bandolier with bullets on it. A yellow uh, scarf. He's got little cloth gloves or cloth gloves. Um, he's got a rattlesnake. Uh, rattles, rattlesnake. He's got a scorpion. Is that so? This is a rattlesnake, and this is a scorpion. He's got a rattlesnake sculpted onto his foot. Again, continuing the, con con uh, continuing the tradition of having things sculpted on you. The back of him is like no paint at all. Like they basically shoved all the paint on the front. But you can see his boots that are covered by his uh, cowboy coverings that I don't know the name of. He also has some spare bullets in the back. He has a revolver tucked into a a holster right here. So he even it comes with another gun, but it's not it's part of it, it can't come out. Um, what's also cool is like if you look at his hat, it's actually a rattlesnake that's wrapped around his entire uh, top of the, the whole brim of his hat has a rattlesnake around it, even back there too. So that's that's kind of nice, a nice touch. He's got like a little you know cow skull on his belt. And he has uh, I forget what he's called. Anybody in the comments below, check him out. And that's stirrups. I don't think they're stirrups. Um I forget. He's got these cowboy things on him, I guess, when he rides. When he's riding his cow, his horse, his cow. Uh, it's been a long day. All right, he's got, like, a scar on his face. He's got, like, a scar here. He's got, like, stitches here. He's got green eyes. Part of his teeth are showing. Like I said, he's not a bad toy. He's pretty cool, but the articulation or lack thereof really hinders his ability to do stuff. I mean, it's cool, but it's like, dude, I can't pose with you. I mean, how am I supposed to... And it, it's they did the same thing with Sergeant Troll and the Troll Manator. I don't know if it's because they had guns and they wanted to downplay them using guns, and so they had their hands sculpted in like a useless way. But then you have like other characters, like you know, we'll take Jacko Troll because we still have him nearby. See, like, look at the difference. Like now, okay, his hands are more up. So if I switch their weapons around, or at least give the weapons this to Jacques for the sake of this example, you know, like look, he can hold them. Now he's aiming at it a little better, right? It's not too bad. He's holding the weapons. Now, if you turn him, it's like, it's not, okay, he can do some stuff with that. But quick draw control, you turn him, he has, his arms don't go up at all because the angle of the cut of his waist is about, like, it's really, like, even to the ground. Now, does that mean quick draw control is like a horrible battle troll and I recommend you never buy him? No, he's a cool toy. If you want to add another uh, battle troll to your collection, especially a cowboy themed one, it's not a bad thing to do. He's a cool figure, but if you want to be able to pose him on a shelf and uh, have him look like he's doing something, he's just going to be sitting there. In that ready to shoot posture, which I guess makes sense since his name is Quick Draw Troll, so he's getting ready to quick draw. He is not quick drawn, he is quick drawing. If that makes any sense. Um, also, keep aware, oh my god, the uh, hand here, because they made the handle on this thing so flat, like it's not even rounded like this one is, that it doesn't really hold very well. Like you, can, you have to kind of like wedge it in there. And it'll, it'll stay, but I would not recommend leaving it in that position for if you're going to put it on the shelf. Because then it might get stuck and it may deform the hands and it might, might never hold it again. Or if you don't care about modding your toys, just trim this down so it's more you know narrow. Or, or and then wrap it around to something else. Or you can figure something out if you feel like it. But if not, to leave it as is. Like I said, it's not a bad battle troll to add to your collection. I was, it was either I was either gonna get him or I was gonna get Ace Troll, but they both had white hair. Oh, excuse me. They both had white hair. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to. You know, like, do I want a, a troll that's supposed to fly a plane without a plane, or do I want a cowboy? And you know what? He had cooler looking accessories, so I went with him. So these are two new battle trolls added to our gang. Quick Draw Troll and Jack Kush Troll from our last review. I want to thank everybody again for tuning into Battle Troll Month. And we're showing all the cool battle trolls off that we got in our collection. So we're going to have some more coming up soon. We're going to review the Trollosaurus with Sven Troll. And then we're going to review Wolfman Troll from my own childhood collection. I think I have Frank Control too floating around somewhere, but he's missing all his accessories. So he may come in as a standee and, uh, until we actually get his gadgets together. Um, he, he's a cool one, too, if you find Frank Control. He comes with clone-to-dark accessories, which is neat. 
All right, so again, thank you guys for tuning in to the Obscure Toy Files video channel on YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, reviews. <laughs> Take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, trolls. Battle trolls are out of control. Oh, I got a second the camera. Why not?